I guess it started out uh, in preparation for the Beijing Games and uh, the head coach approached us. He knew of the research that we were doing and said, I'd like to tag the player. So uh, how can we use video analysis and stats analysis to improve their chances? When a coach look at the match, see one thing, but when we go in and really see the statistics of the match and we really see what's actually going on, like, so the coaching changes a bit because yeah, you can see something with the eye, but when you're really looking at it in a statistic way, that, that gives a different, different approach to, um, to how you prepare your players. So that's really good. That's been a positive thing for, for the sport of badminton in Australia. I'm meeting with them like about once a week to talk to them how they're going, their training. But apart from that, we're also doing what's called tagging analysis, where we tag certain actions that their opponents make record it down into like a computer program and then the players can view their tagging and then see what, I guess you can say, what patterns their opponents make and if they're weaker on their left side, their right side, things like that. The, the area we use it most for our game is the serve and return area um, and we can see the patterns that the opposition use and then tailor our training to specifically meet those patterns and things that the opposition do. So, so yeah, it's had a big influence, not just on how we play our games, but also how we train. Um, we can see our, our strengths and weaknesses as well as the opponent's strengths and weaknesses. We're trying to be innovative, think of different things that the opponents don't think of. And I think the synergy with universities and organisations like Badminton Australia and the Australian Institute of Sport are critical. Yeah, I'm sure a part of the bronze medal that we won at the Commonwealth game is uh, because of the RIT tacking, I'm, I'm sure.